Once the clinic receives the treatment, we ask that they refrigerate the treatment in order to make every effort in keeping the allergens fresh and in an environment where they will not break down prematurely. For your convenience, we have a place on our website where you can get a customized treatment calendar specifically for your pet. Simply input your pet's name and the date of the first injection and once the PDF image pops up, hit print. There is also a spread in your treatment diary where this information can be stapled or taped into place for future reference. Here at Spectrum Labs, we want to provide you with the information about the injections so that you can understand our goals and how this is a viable and truly safe all-natural alternative to steroid use. Therefore, we encourage you to read through your treatment diary and the importance of your role, especially if you're going to be the person administering the treatment sets and taking notes after each injection. This is also the information we need should the animal have an increase in symptoms during the initial treatment. Adherence to the schedule is also very important. If you miss an injection, within a few days either way, go ahead and administer the next injection. If it has been several weeks or months since the last injection, it is best to consult with your veterinarian with the following information. The date of the last injection, dosage amount and color of vial, reason for stopping, and if any symptoms were noticed prior to stopping within 24 to 48 hours of the injection. Also, should you choose to administer the treatment at home, we ask that the treatment sets remain in the refrigerator until the time you are ready to administer the injection. Each injection should be brought to room temperature before administering. Make sure that you give the injection at a time when you will be able to observe your pet for 45 minutes to an hour. While reactions are very rare, they can occur, and if so, will usually be within one hour of giving the injection. Most common reactions involved increased itching and or redness, and on very rare occasions, animals may develop symptoms such as hives, vomiting, diarrhea, or lethargy. If there is an increase in symptoms, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Please contact your veterinarian and again advise them of the symptoms, the date of the last injection, the dosage amount and color of vial, and how soon after the injection the increase in symptoms occurred.